Well, wounded warriors are learning to adapt to life after traumatic injuries. And there's one program at the Bamsi Center for the Intrepid where that training goes, shall we say, just a bit deeper. JT Street joins them for day one of adaptive scuba training on Street's Corner. And go. At the Brooke Army Medical Center pool, Orlando Gill and his fellow adaptive scuba instructors lead some new students on their opening day water test, a test they must pass despite the loss of their limbs. Good job, yeah. Scuba diving with one leg, uh, most people when they kick, they kick, you know, and they go in a straight line. Uh, basically, I'm kicking one leg, I just keep doing 360s. On this day, another 360, as Orlando returns to the place where he learned to dive to teach other wounded warriors. As an instructor, day one was uh, interesting. I'm like pulling out charts and things like, okay, which way things had to be, and I'm like, okay, did I do everything right? But little by little, I've gotten more comfortable. For Orlando and the students, day one is all about getting comfortable with the water and each other. Can I have a, <laughs> Can I have a swim leg? <laughs> when you get in the water, they start laughing with the other guys, you know, hey, this and that, you know, I'm missing a limb too. Do you have any like, sensitive feeling? No. no, I'm good. Daniel Crane is still trying to get comfortable with his right arm, where he was shot by an anti-military local during his deployment in Guam. Ended up severing all my nerves on my right arm. Uh, severed my brachial artery, almost bled out that night. After two years of trying to restore feeling to his right hand, Daniel decided to have it amputated. A month later, he's scuba diving. That's what I do. No hops or skips, leaps. A leap from a sea of troubles to an ocean of possibilities. Oh God, I feel great. I, I love this. I, uh, I feel like I can do anything in the world, so it empowers me pretty much. The world's, what, about 29% land, the rest is water. You know, it's a, it's a big world out there. Now, it's a world Daniel and the rest of the students will get to explore as part of their training. First, with their open water dive at the Meadows Center at Texas State. And then once they graduate, an ocean dive off the Florida coast. If you'd like to swim your way on the Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.